this is perfect. This is exactly what we need to further expand our, our workflow, our, our ability to incorporate analog uh, devices into our, our um, you know, our setups. Um, I, I felt that this was, was just a fantastic idea. And then, of course, he got into the whole mechanics of it and how it's made and what it's made and how it works and, and all the details of that, uh, all of which are pretty, uh, pretty amazing. But there isn't any really good analog limiters that, sound, that do the same job as digital. Because when you want to limit in digital, you can just pretty much go, oh, there it is, nothing happens, that's it, it's now a completely flat wave. And that's just a reality. So a lot of uh, guys and girls I know that have been producing for a long time and mixing get a little frustrating because, frustrated because they're competing against, you know, guys and girls are mixing on laptops with plugins that make everything go bap, 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 and everything's just loud and crunchy, and they're in an analog world. Um, so they're resorting to using digital stuff, and then they always go, but now my mixes sound more digital. How do I get that, you know, quote unquote, analog sound? I was gonna say warmth, but that would be ridiculous, but I just did. How do I get that analog feeling but also limited. This might be the answer. You know, if I can spend, you know, eight hours doing a mix, and I can spend easily four hours and do a better job with the APB. I mean, that's just my own reality. Maybe it means I'm not as good as I would like to think I might be, but it, it saves me so much time. And, and ultimately just means that it's better. 